Okay, starting here in the abdominal cavity, we can see the testicular artery and vein coming together with the ductus deferens right here. And then going through the vaginal ring down into the inguinal canal. Follow it along here, we see the spermatic cord. This particular section is still within the vaginal tunic. And you can see the cremaster muscle here, which comes off the caudal border of the internal abdominal oblique muscle. So that cremaster muscle stays external to the vaginal tunic, attaches to its outer surface. It, it's in what's called the spermatic fascia. Okay, if we come over to this side now. Here we've opened up that parietal layer of the vaginal tunic here and pulled it away. And so on the viscera here is the visceral vaginal tunic. Okay, we have the, the testis and the epididymis. So the head of the epididymis is where we find the pampiniform plexus. The head, the body, and then the tail. And so, aptly named, we have the ligament of the tail of the epididymis. And then attaching the tail of the epididymis to the testis is what's known as the proper ligament of the testis. Okay, so back up here, pampiniform plexus, which consists of the testicular artery and vein, and they're all inter winding here for the purpose of cooling the blood as it comes to the testis because for spermatogenesis to occur it needs a lower than body temperature. Okay we can see these mesenteries here very nicely and so this is the better view. We've got mesorchium here and mesorchium continues along here attaching to the testicular artery and vein. And then this mesentery right here is the mesoductus deferens. And what a term he doesn't use in our dissection guide but is often used for this, this common trunk of mesentery that suspends, uh, it's basically kind of a Y shape with a meso ductus deferens and the mesorchium coming together because it is suspending the whole of the spermatic cord. It's often referred to as the mesofuniculus. Funiculus meaning cord. Okay. So I'm a little confused with how is this the mesorchium as well as up here when I thought that was the meso? Uh, well, you see here that there's a separation here. So, okay. So, yeah, can you see that a yeah. little bit better now? That's better. Yeah, so it is kind of a Y shape. There's a good image in the, the book that shows that Y shape the mesorchium coming together with the mesoductus deferens. And some just refer to this as mesorchium. Okay. But you'll also see, especially here in the cord, it referred to as the mesofuniculus. So here's the ductus deferens heading back towards the body cavity. to then dump into the urethra. And when we dissect back the pelvic cavity, we'll see that better.